Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I am here again to continue my tutorial on how to create a uh, glitch box using the Dr. OctoRex. Uh, the last time we, we um, went through this, uh, what I showed you is how to create one loop and then create some different variations on it, um, send all the different outputs to different effects units, and also to send the LFO to the pitch wheel to change the pitch as uh, as it goes by the LFO. So this time, what, I'm, what I did, I already set this up just to save some time, but um, I took the same loop and I copied it into four different uh, slots. Uh, what I'll do, and I changed the parameters of each of the, each of the uh, loops um, so that they're all a little different. So just to show you how to do that, um, you're going to right click, you're going to select copy loop, you're going to go into a free slot, you're going to right click again and you're going to go paste loop and then uh, what you're going to do for the pitch you're going to change some of the different parameters so that you got a different pitch here okay and what you can also do is um, you're going to change your pan if you want to change everything back to the original like if you want pan to be zero all the way across here hold down your control key and just drag all the way along the loop and everything's going to go back to normal the only thing i wish they had in in this type of um, setup is I wish they had some sort of a ramp, a way to ramp it, like you hold down your shift key and you can ramp it all the way up and it creates a smooth ramp. Uh, obviously this is not a smooth ramp, but you can do that in velocity settings in the sequencer, but apparently you just can't do it here. So you're kind of stuck having to play around and fiddle and um, try to get as close as you can. Uh, so unfortunately that's just the way it is. So hold down control and uh, it'll get you back to the starting point here. And then you can play around with your different parameters. Same thing with reverse. Let's just put it all back to, well, we don't want it to be all reversed. Put it back to the original, then select a few to be reversed. Uh, filter frequency, we'll leave that as is. Alt groups, you can change your alt groups if you want. Or you can have no alt groups totally up to you. Uh, then the outputs, very important that you change these outputs because this is going to determine um, where the actual output gets sent um, and which effects is going to be applied to which uh, which effects get applied to which slices in the loop. So once you've made all these changes, um, now you're pretty much all set. You've got that loop in all the different slots. You've got it in uh, five different slots. So let's uh, um, oh, let's do one other thing. Let's change this to 1 16th because one of the rotaries I'm going to use is going to be um, used to change from loop to loop and you want it to change on the 16th note, not on the bar. That's just the, the fast, it, it'll switch faster, it'll be a little bit more dynamic. Okay, so let's open up the programmer on the combinator. Um, let's, I've already labeled these uh, knobs here. So the first rotary is going to be a loop switcher. So in your, um, with your OctoRex selected, you're going to go into rotary one, you're going to go down to pattern and select loop slot. And negative one, just to show you, if you have your loop at negative one, it's going to be set to not play any loops. So that's what negative one is. So we don't want that. We want it set to zero and we want it set to four. And that way it's going to switch between all your different loops. Okay. Now the transpose function is going to be this function down here. It'll transpose your notes um, minus 12 semitones and positive 12 semitones. So again, on the Octorex, we're going to select rotary two and we're going to select five instances of rotary two. Okay, one, two, three, four, and one more. Rotary two, and then we're going to go into the oscillator, loop one transpose, oscillator loop two transpose, oscillator loop three, loop four, and loop five. So this will transpose all five loops all at the same time, all at once using this knob. Um, the LFO rate, we're going to change this to rotary 3, and change this to rotary 4, and then this is going to be button 1. Okay, so the LFO rate, we want to be able to change that. So let's just go into LFO 1 rate, 
and then for rotary 4 we're going to change the LFO 1 amount and then button 1 we're going to change the oscillator octave from 5 to 6 okay and that's going to change the octave up and it's going to make it sound a more high-pitched glitch uh, so with that in place let's just check everything's okay with that in place now we can play it and we can have fun switching the loops switch on the 16th note transpose it go upward or downward change the rate which affects the pitch again come back and visit me at reason101.net um, i'm rob and i'll be your host for many more tutorials to come thanks a lot for listening and thanks for watching